Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, veteran Yoba actress Jumoke George is in tears as her children and grandkids surprise her. This veteran Yoba actress is crying and shedding the tears of joy. She has been acting for the past 45 years. And this beautiful veteran actress shared an emotional story a while ago. Life wasn't fair to this veteran Yoba actress when she was disowned. But today, she has risen like a phoenix out of that ashes. This Yoba actress has been blessed with lovely grown children and grandkids. As Ola Jumoke celebrates her birthday today, she says, What more would I have asked for than Grace Obala who gave me? For you are not coming to write condolence messages. Last week wasn't sweet at all. God gave me another chance to be alive. And it is certain I'm spending more through two years in good health. These children got me real good. I'm speechless. How they knew I was in church after they all planned not to call me at all. To wish me happy birthday. The love was massive. The calls, tags, messages, DPs and all. I don't even know where and how to start the write-up. All over the world was where I got that love from. I was shocked. In fact, I'm still shocked. You all surprised me. Thank you for the love. In all sincerity, I'm short of words. I will come back when I'm composed. That's brain behind this picture. If I me judge. Abike, Olajumoke, Fire, and Ayabadeleyo, Joe Ekusha, I'm coming back for you all. This veteran Yoba actually shared the short clips and the pictures from her surprise on her social media platform. Once again, happy belated birthday to this Yoba veteran actress. Jumoke George. The journey of this veteran actress, Allah Jumoke George, will surely evoke emotions from anyone who hears about her troubled part in life. This mom of two has indeed weathered through life storm that shaped her life. Allah Jumoke George said she's proud of the woman she has become, despite the many challenges she has confronted. She shared her life story in a revealing interview with Shegun Adebayo, and she said that nothing prepares anyone in life for anything but God is the rock and foundation upon which her life and everything about her is built. Her dedication and passion and love and drive for the profession has kept her on the game till date. This version you back to once said that I always tell people that I'm a golden fish that has no hiding place. And I like telling my story to inspire young ladies who might be going through a similar problem. So how did she become an actress? She has always been a fan of acting from her childhood days. But then there was this woman who actually inspired her love for television back then. Though she does not know her, in her words, though she doesn't know me and I have not even met her in person. Her name is Madam Anike Abadji Williams. I've always seen her as my role model. I love seeing her coming on screen as a newscaster. Also, when I was 8 years old, there was this friend of my father who came to ask my father to release me for a stage play they usually had at the end of the year. There was a girl of my age who had been playing the role before me, but that year she fell sick and could not make it, so it occurred to my father's friend to use me for the role. My father asked if I could do it and I said yes. The man told my father what he had seen in me at that age. So my father said he could have me. To the glory of God, I did very well and then everybody enjoyed it. Even before then, watching that woman really inspired me. So when I finally got on that stage at the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, I felt really proud of myself. That was how my career started from that point. It continued to up till when I got to secondary school. I joined the cultural drama group in my school. While in school, there was this big uncle in our area that we called Uncle Aqua. He encouraged me to keep pushing on with my love for stage drama. But he was not happy because my parents disapproved of it. And at that time, my father disowned me. So what happened that her father disowned her? She's a product of a broken marriage. Her father disowned her because she was fighting his battle for him and he could just not understand it. She revealed that as young as she was then, her stepmother used to send her to different herbalists to get love potion for her. It continued till she got to class 2. She revealed that her stepmother would put the love portion that she gets into her father's food. Jumoke Church, this veteran Yuba actress, was the one who would cook the same food, which has been laced with love portion. So one day, she said she was not going to run such errands for her again. And that was how her problem started. People ask, so how did the then little Ola Jumoke able, able to summon up courage at that time? Well, she revealed that we were brought up in a strict military home, so I've been a very brave person. I think I got that from my father actually. So one day, I walked up to my stepmother with a terrifying feeling and told her that I was getting scared of what she had been doing to my father. She asked me what I thought she was doing. I said she should stop sending me to Habalis to get all manner of love potions. She got angry and tried to report me to my father for daring to speak up to her. When my father came, she told him a different story entirely. She told her father that she was rude to her and that she does not listen to her instructions again. She could not be blatant slight. 
that she could not even understand. Immediately, she went on her knees and started begging her to stop telling lies against her. She also tried to explain herself, but her father got mad and asked her to get out of the house. She then held on to his knees, pleading for mercy. Suddenly, he shoved her away and went into his room to get his gun. He retired as a medical doctor in the military. He was a lieutenant colonel in the Nigerian army before he retired. Then, they lived right beyond Joyce B in Ibadan. Her father pursued her with his gun from their house to that popular filling station at Ringwood, barefooted. He ran after her and went back when he got to the main road. Juma came around to her paternal mother's house to hide. Her father came there and dragged his mother and Juma came herself on the floor. It was at that point that she realized that he had truly disowned her. All this while, her mother had divorced her father. So Juma came went to her mother when there was no place for her to go to. But then she was shocked when her mother said, she would not take her into her house. She asked her why and she said she chose to stay with her father against her wish at the age of six. When she wanted to leave her father's house, her mother insisted that she would not have her back into her house. That was how she started squatting from one house to another house because she didn't want to become a dropout. From there, she went to the house of one of her classmates who was the daughter of the popular Baba Kondede. After some time, Uncle Akwa around her with the Laulu Oguniyi Theatre Group. She was attending rehearsals for a couple of months. Though the founder of the group was not always available, she kept on going. One day, she decided to pay her mother a visit. On her way to her house after the rehearsals, a car parked beside her and the man who drove the car asked her where she was going. He said he had known her since her first stage play at 10th year some years ago. He said that he would like to meet her parents. So she took that man to her mother's house. When they got to her mother's house, he told her that he would like to mentor Jumoke in acting. That same man is Comrade Victor Ashaulu. Jumoke was under his tutelage for 11 good years. And at that time, this veteran Yuba actress was between 15 and 16 years old. When this veteran Yuba actress left secondary school, she gained admission to Shogdo Technical College to study business administration. But she still wanted the world to learn more from her because she had never seen herself as someone who ever had parents. In spite of all this, looking at what she had gone through in life, Jumo Kerr would say that life is beautiful, we are the attitudes of our lives. It depends on how things work out with our lives. As far as she knows, she believes life is beautiful and she thinks that the lesson she learned from everything she went through is that parents should love their children. She loves her children to a fault. They are best friends and she never wishes that they will go through what she went through in life. And for this veteran Yuba actress, she added in her interview that I would say acting is my life. I eat, drink, sleep and wake up on acting. This is the only thing I love to do. Once again, happy birthday to this veteran Yuba actress, Jumoke George.